Good evening. I'm Dick Brennan. Maurice Dubois is on assignment. And I'm Christine Johnson. First at five today, a school bus set on fire outside a local school. And we have new video that shows who may have done it. You can see what happened in the minutes before the flames started. More than half a dozen kids bringing kindling to the scene. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez is live in Crown Heights, Brooklyn tonight, where police are now searching for some of these accused firebugs. Hazel? And you can see right behind me, the charred bus is still sitting in front of the school where it went up in flames last night. The bus company says the driver had just parked the bus here and left the door unlocked. And that's when that 11 year old boy and his friends allegedly hopped on board and set it on fire. Huge flames and thick black smoke was pouring out of a school bus parked outside this Jewish all girls school in Crown Heights Sunday night. Zainab Bai couldn't believe her eyes. The smoke was. Just black, jet black. I was like, how could that bus catch on fire? Because the bus was there, nobody was in the bus. And how did that happen? Police say a group of young boys set the fire, including an 11 year old whom they already arrested. School surveillance video shows them running onto the bus with cardboard boxes. You can see someone starting a fire in the middle of the bus. Then later, more flames pop up next to the driver's seat. At least five boys are then seen running away as the bus quickly becomes engulfed in smoke and flames. I'm just glad that the kids were not on the bus at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that they're safe. Chaya Cohen says, her eight year old son was on this bus earlier Sunday. He was dropped off in Flatbush before the bus driver parked it here on Brooklyn Avenue near Leffords Boulevard. Monday, police were collecting evidence from what little is left of the charred shell. Investigators are looking into the possibility that this is a hate crime. I don't see any reason why they will hate the people around here. Because if we all live in the same neighborhood, we are supposed to be as family. What kind of punishment do you think they should face? I, I just think that they should be um, they should be let know that these are real people, mm -hmm. regardless of where they're coming from. You know, whether they're Jewish or white, black, any race, these are people who send their kids to school to learn. So police are still looking for the other four boys involved. The 11 year old was charged with arson and criminal mischief. He was released to his mother's custody. But the question is, can he get locked up? Well, the answer isn't that simple. Authorities are going to have to look at his background. Has he been in trouble before? Does he have behavioral problems before they decide his fate either in family court or juvenile court? We're live in Crown Heights tonight. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Hazel, thank you. A fiery scene in Hackensack.